Hey folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play RimWorld. It is our Bloody Royals run and we have our lovely little base happening here. But right now we're going to focus on this area instead where we have approached a giant lump of compacted machinery. This is a place with hostile activity apparently detected. I don't see any right now. Again, it might just be the sort of thing where once we start mining, then we get a countdown timer. That is entirely possible. Oh, there we go. Ambush. And that was the other thing I was wondering about. Ambush by manhunting squirrels. Okay, acceptable. I really <laughs> I think I do over worry about the danger of some of these sites. All right, let's just get a nice little cluster here. One and two. Hopefully they don't, this one doesn't go for the animals. There we go. Number two. All right, area is now safe. What we're going to do and again, I don't think we're going to spend a lot of time here. And I don't know how much it's worth actually doing some some construction. But I'll get a few trees. We're going to set... Um... Okay, we got one personal plant cut. Right, we're going to set a construction of two to everyone except the miners, even though one of these is our best constructor. Um, and Moon's not even that good at mining yet, but it's okay. We'll, we'll set it up anyway. Oh, you know what? We're going to do... Priority is the mining. And you can do the plant cut one. That's going to be okay. So we're going to designate this area to be mined. Let me just reset everyone so that they immediately reevaluate their tasks. And as soon as I got a chunk of wood here. You know what? There we go. You're not mining. Be cutting down some trees, please. We'll set up a little bit of a sleep spot. But again, I don't... Last couple of times, it just turns out we could just mine this really fast and not worry about it. By the time we set up a room, it was time to leave. Wooden walls. So I need like seven sleep spots. Three, four. No, uh, no. Nah, nah. Here, I'll set up an eighth. Not that it matters. Table. Actually, I'll center it up in where the room will be. Oh. Um. Or I'll do it on the other side. Da da. -da. We are. Do this first, and then we'll get walls up around it. Um, and then over here, and perfectly fine that it's outside. Things aren't going to decay that quickly. I will put a stockpile zone. Raid attacking immediately. Is it? Oh, it's here. Okay, luckily it's not a huge raid. Now, of course, the wealth over here did drop because, you know, we've got our caravan of full of people has gone down. Um, and they brought some things with them. Is it really just the one? No, there we go. There's some more in the north, but it's still not very many. Let's just get everyone in defensive position. I'm just tr oops. That was weird. I go. Well, I guess I must have spread over this. Yeah, no breach axes there. Nothing there. And I mean, it's not a breach raid either. They should all just go through the kill zone. And being unarmored tribals, they should mostly just die to the traps. Actually. Yeah, we've got all our guns set up. Yeah, this one can't fire, but that's okay. It'll fire the ones that are attacking over here, which is groovy. And then anyone who's trying to melee our group over here, too. These guys are proving these surprisingly tough. Oh, damn, they killed one of our turrets. That's actually very disappointing. You know what I should do? I should do the thing where... Okay, if I can just move this. Grab you. Yeah, turn off the auto rearm on all of these. Some of them was already off. Some of it must not be in a home zone. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave these rebuilding as wood just because they tend to go down so quickly. But yeah, the last ditch effort here and in front of our people, we're going to make those out of steel. They're not going to get procced as often because usually people will die or sit, sit back here and shoot. Um, but when they do, we want, you know, when they get triggered, we want things to die instantly. Okay, where's the second raid? Right, over there. Oh, things over here. Griffin is idle.
I don't know if this is going to matter at all, but we'll put in a little bit of effort. Mostly for people who have no mining skill, because they're not going to be getting as many components out as quickly, so. Alright. Another turret lost. Oh, that one exploded. God, they're fleeing, except they're already dead. Okay, I think we're clear. No red dots? Mm, nothing that I can see. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, rebuilding that stuff's kind of a little annoying and a little expensive, but I think that's fine. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I can get the... I can pick up some berries here too. For a little extra food. But yeah, I think by the time we build this, this is all going to get mined out anyway. In fact, if anything else, it might make sense to even the unskilled ones. Just tell them to go in freaking mine. I think, you know what? That is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set mining as a number one priority for everyone. We'll have to remember to redo these when we get home. That's okay. And yeah, they, I mean, the sleep spot doesn't improve their sleep quality, so it doesn't matter where they slept. Either way, they're going to get slept on the ground, slept outside. I'm just officially canceling these jobs. Just mine, I don't care about anything else. That's the one thing I could have done. If I put a high priority hull, then we would have probably unpacked the dromedaries and we could have put out the bedrolls. There's a mod that makes that just happen more automatically. When they go to sleep, if there's a bedroll on the animal, they go and unpack it and install it automatically. Which is kind of nice and very realistic. Plague. Okay, it's not our dromedaries, which is good, because they're not at home. Let me flag a couple more of these for medical stuff, just to say. Major breakers, that's Cameron over here. Ravenously hungry. I mean, we do have meals. They're on the animals, so yeah, go ahead and eat. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll flag. I'm going to select all berry bushes. Harvest fully grown. I'll turn off mining for Cameron. You can prioritize doing a uh, plant cut. So you will go and pick berries. Yeah, there we go. And boredom, is it here? Yeah. Which deal with it. The sooner you mine things out, the sooner you get back home and watch some more TV. Don't worry, we're DVRing your favorite shows. You're not going to miss the latest episode of... Um, Bachelor Rimworld Edition? I was going to say Survivor or something like that, but I mean, that's basically what the game is as is. Oh, you had a bit of a break here, which is annoying. Cameron detected. Yeah, we have 11 days to deal with it. We're going to be gone well before then, so that's okay. Oh, avocado fell down. Bionic replacements. Okay, hold on. Avocado, what's going on here? Is the food poisoning major? Uh, Damp, could you go and uh, rescue Avocado, please? Thank you. So, research project. Yeah, at some point we're going to need probably batteries and solar panels and get our wind generators up for extra power, but we're good for now. We've still got another geothermal just outside our walls we can pick up. We're not going to do neural supercharging things. <clears throat> um, we might want to research the bigger guns. Oh, we have access to flesh shaping, huh? We might want to get aesthetic noses installed for someone soon. Or do I just power through getting recon armor? Maybe we will. I think I, I might be tempted to try that. Yeah, so people are super cranky. Maybe I should have kept setting this up, but I think just if we just finish this job sooner, that'll be the better outcome. So we'll do that. Keep picking the berries. So if nothing else, we'll bring the berries with us when we leave this map. So we have some more food for the, the trip home. Extreme break risk. Extreme is pretty bad. Q 
You can't counsel yourself. I might get you to counsel Ico before you snap. Or thrombos. Well, I'm not gonna deal with that with so few people. Again, he can you can kill it with two people, one to kite and the other one to just keep shooting. But I don't trust my own skills for it. My own ability to micro. I suspect badness will occur. Okay, next time this happens, I think what I'll do is I will do like hull first to unpack the animals, install the bedroll, so at least we won't get slept on the floor. But yeah, at least this is nearly done. Where are you guys going? Grabbing fine meals. Plus, if we unpacked, it wouldn't be as far. Also, we could put a... I put a caravan hitching spot here. There you go. And Griffin is an expert animal handler. Although currently you got psychotic wandering. But I just, I guess I don't actually care who's handling animals right now. Because we're not taming. Uh, Doc's got the gaze, the daze. Darn it. But yeah, we can do this. We can keep all the animals hitched here so we don't have to go as far. I don't think they wander off. Oh, we got a zoot. Oh, that's what we need. Well, it's out. Oh, it's not outside. It's inside. All right. Let's get that taken care of. Berserk. Hacking anyone he sees. Um, did you attack a rat and get knocked down? I'm sorry. Is that what happened? Moon, that is so embarrassing. I guess your Goju's addiction probably led to you being less comfortable or have lower movement. Is this rat still attacking? No, I'm just consuming grass. Um... Wait, did I miscount? Oh, we did need eight beds. For some reason, I thought it was seven. Zeraf. Yeah, that's a lot of mood breaks. Mm, ten to moon. Oh, you're fine. Still waiting for the fire. Finish. Chop a little faster. Okay, you're being treated. Oh, we might get some mood breaks on the way home, but it's not the end of the world. It is worth spending the day understanding that it's going to give us probably it will be here a whole extra day, but maybe we should set up a proper camp first. I don't know. Keep going back and forth. We're not worried about enemies attacking us. Nearly done the job. These two aren't the fastest miners in the universe. I wonder if I should. Good, much better. I wonder if we can pack up even when someone's getting a break, because I don't think we have to physically walk off the map at these sites. Because normally if someone's having a psychotic break, you can't really leave the map, but I think we might be okay to do that. Let's see. I click here. Reform caravan. Yeah, because it's a reform, I think it's going to be okay. We're bringing everyone here. We're bringing 150 components, which is really nice. We could bring the wood with us, but I'm worried it's just going to slow us down. Not by much. I'm not going to care about the rest of this stuff here. We're going to bring these berries with us. Milk, herbal medicine. Go. Yeah, you immediately pack up. Great. Um, Two mental states. No, we still move even though they're in a mental state. Okay, good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So we can just still take off. We'll be fine now. Stupid food poisoning. And yeah, we'll have to reset some job priorities when everyone gets back, but 150 components is amazing. So no one's going to have to worry about doing this for a while. Yeah, we do have our bionics. So yeah, I think someone was missing a arm at some point. I, we might have two people with missing feet. Yeah, we've got at least one. We'd like to get damp a bionic leg. So... We'll go ahead and throw that in. 
and see what happens after that. Now the Bionic Leg need it does need four advanced components, so that's the whole job there. Now what's going to happen with the order that I'm doing this in, it's going to start the Bionic Leg, consume the advanced components, immediately go back to making advanced components. Maybe I should order it this way. And leave us with zero advanced components for a while, but that's not really the end of the world. Yeah, and that gets its leg a little higher priority. Alright, having a rest with our eight bedrolls. Only one in a mental state now. And yeah, they'll arrive tomorrow. Hopefully they'll get here before they rest again. 0.7 days? Maybe not, actually. They might camp right outside of town, which is a little annoying. And I don't have the mod that like changes that. So that if they're right outside of town, like, no, just finish the trip, please. We have no cook meal. We don't, we don't have a cook here. Avocado. I know you're not terribly good at cooking, but you might have to bash out a couple here. Hopefully you don't get too much food poisoning. I'm going to increase these to 20. I, they still count, I believe, fine meals. Oh, they don't actually. Let me leave that in. Um, count all meals, but not survival meals or nutrient paste. There we go for that for that job. Same thing over here. Um, oop, sorry, this one. There we go. We'll keep 40 meals around all the time. If we have fine or lavish meals, basically we're going to not bother cooking simple meals, but... need just enough meals to deal until the caravan gets back. Point three. No, I think you'll get here actually before nightfall. So I can go and turn cooking off for avocado again. We're going to be okay for the people that are here. Consumed a bunch of that pemmican, which actually I think turned out to be pretty good. Stew keepers passing by. Speaking of cooks, wow, you're really good. Misogynist, no dumb labor. Good at research and cooking. And artistic. Now, I don't think we're capturing you. But you're vaguely tempting. Mm. Yeah, Turner's going to make this component, which is not going to be necessary in a second. I'm going to let you finish. So listen, I'm going to let you finish, but uh, something something Grammy's reference. I'm just going to put a suspend on it so that Turner doesn't start a new project. There we go, because now the caravan is here. I don't think it's going to count the components until they've um, uninstalled. Yeah, Moon's going to have to break his Go Juice addiction. His, her? His. Uh, moon Juice, or Go Juice addiction. Moon Juice addiction. Sounds like, what is it? Uh, moon Sugar, right? From Elder Scrolls? That's what it sounds like to me now. Um, yeah, hopefully you can get out of that. Zareth, you're going to need some joy added in, but at least you're back now. You know, you boost your, your recreation, sleep in a good bed. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Okay. Let's uh, let's reset our various tasks here. Might do a big redo on a bunch of these. I mean, you know what? It's a good time. Let's do let's do an audit on our jobs again and see how we feel about things. First up, cooking. The camera can also do this. Ico is really is really the cook. So let's just do this. I might not even turn it on for Cameron. Ico doesn't really have anything else going on. So focus on the cooking. Get your skill up. That's going to be great. You need a school of eight to get back to survival meals. So that's going to be fine. Um, construction really is going to continue with Turner. And I'm going to leave the crafting, like the, the skilled based crafting on as a secondary. I'll probably just put a level four craft on everyone. Again, this is just carving rocks, basically. So we're not too worried about that. For growing, our best skilled person is Nora. They're also pretty good at constructing. Whereas if we look at damp, for example, oh, you can you could research. But we don't really need that. So it's like avocado is basically researching all the time. Um, and we'll give you, yeah, we'll give you the managing because you're actually good at social and research, so it's perfect. Manage and then research, you've got that sorted. Nora could construct. Oh, yeah, what was it? It's like growing. Cameron could cook, but we don't really care about that. But how about damp? 
is like possibly the ideal full-time grower. But it's probably fine to put a second one in there. They're both skilled enough. I mean, they're literally the same skill. They can grow everything. Again, higher skilled people. It is nice to get something hyper-focused, but that's probably okay. I could give Cameron a low-priority cook job if for some reason you're idle. Uh, mostly because I'd want you to butcher rather than cook properly, because really I Ico is going to be the one hyper-focused on that. So I'm not even sure I'm going to turn that on. For mining, I think the idea was, even though Moon doesn't have the skill of Lumi, this is really going to be the thing that Moon specializes in. Unless we really enable construction. Again, I guess I will turn these on. Again, I have with um, Quality Builder, it will ensure that Turner is finishing the things where quality matters. But having some more people help to rebuild walls, do maintenance, is actually kind of nice. Maybe, is it Lumi going to be our prime miner? I think I talked about Moon, but I'm wondering if it's just Lumi. Art, Griffin for sure. Okay, so right now, every category has got someone assigned to it. So the question becomes, does anyone not really have a proper job assigned? That would be Zareth. We talked, I think the idea was they were going to become trained as a secondary crafter. So we'll do, I'll turn both these on, that's going to be fine. Again, you are not allowed to do the FSMG right now because of restrictions, but you do other smithing jobs and other tailoring jobs and skill up. We got to learn at some point that's going to have to be okay. Doc, Doc's interesting. They really don't have anything going on. Obviously they're handling social skills and doctoring. They're an important character. They don't really have busy work. So I guess they're going to be cutting blocks and maybe doing some hauling and cleaning. Alita. Yeah, you're going to train to craft. Might pull the job away from Zareth. We'll see, but that is going to be your thing. And then avocado on research. OK, uh, and then life's got nothing right now. They are just going to be doing hauling, cleaning. We'll do this, especially since now Alita is going to spend some time tailoring. But we'll still have the kids do clean first and then everyone's got a little priority haul. OK, I think I'm happy with the reevaluation of everyone's jobs currently. Um, we've got to wait for Zareth to get to level six before we can give them the specialization role. But that is going to be the intention. Uh, I suspect Alita is going to do the same thing too, but she can't do that while she's a child. Okay, I think we've, we're back to good flow. I'm wondering if I should be growing more cotton. It'll help with uh, grinding out tailoring skill. Yeah. I think I kind of do want to expand some utility crops. I'm going to expand you here. Like that. Once that's up, we'll tear down this little wall here. And do... Um, I actually don't know what cotton's fertility sensitivity is. I'm going to use cotton. 70%. So, I mean, you do... I mean, everything benefits from more fertile terrain. It might not be the highest priority. In fact, I might just want to grow some more Devil Strand out here. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. And even if Devil Strand's fertility sensitivity wasn't that high, although I think it is 100%. Um, yeah, it is. Even if it wasn't that high, it's got such a long growth period that it would feel pretty important for us to put it on the hyper-fertile terrain just to, again, avoid the sort of botch things that can happen. Uh, growing zone. I might want to leave a gap here to prevent some of the blight stuff, but no, I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's going to be an odd growing zone shape, but this whole area here is going to be for Devil Strand. And this area here is going to be for cotton. Now, we could maybe trim this back later. As it, you know, when we get to the point where, okay, we've got way too much cotton or whatever. I don't think we'll ever feel like we have way too much Devil Strand. 
I can, I suspect too much cloth might be a thing. Although what we could do at some point is lift the restrictions on kid parkas so that even highly skilled people can keep grinding this out as a way to just sell stuff. New lovers, Damp and Griffin. Okay. I want to sleep together. We're not getting a debuff for it. Maybe because everyone's still getting to sleep with a lover. So as I say, we could move this bed into here, but Turner is not in a group relationship. Although I guess that was fine before, because one of these two had an extra lover and we put a single bed in here and that was okay and no one complained about it. So I think we could probably move this bed over here and it probably would still count as a bedroom as opposed to a barracks. But no one is complaining because everyone's got someone to boink, I guess. So good for them. All right. This is going to get real complicated with some of these relationships going forward. But that's going to be fun. Uh, you're done, right? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about growing. Oh, do you really not have power? Huh. Well, let's just do this and join it up. Nice to have some little redundant connections. And we'll restart. So I can deconstruct this. And we can go to limestone tiles and finish that up. Cool. We'll be ready for another decorated bedroom. Still considering like moving the pairs of people over here, if nothing else. I mean, I guess since we have a colony of unlimited lovers, maybe people really don't give a crap about people uh, uh, having some sex in public. But uh, chaplain abilities are ready. I don't think we have anything to do. Although, you know what? I think we're going to run one of our little holidays here and see if we get a new joiner. I don't really need people. But maybe we'll get someone high quality. And if not, maybe we'll take them out back and shoot them in the head. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's cold. But it does limit the strength of raids that come after us. So someone is willing to join us. Shaman of Shadows? Oh, that's a great name. Dark Light. Shaman of Shadows. No health problems. Abrasive Quick Sleeper. I mean, you're great at doctoring. But you can't you can't fight. And you don't do dumb labor. I think you're going to have an accident is what's going to happen. Turner, you're going to come over here. Dark light, you're going to come over here. I have to do this one at a time. Not worth much, but what the hell, right? Do, do, do. Now, I think... Not 100% sure. Let me just do a safety save in case I've completely misunderstood. Yes, totally going to say that, how this works. But, okay. We're not going to kill you personally. We're going to let you bleed to death over here. Um, I guess we have to make sure no one rescues you. But this should count as dying a violent death. Which should, and it's not going to be represented anywhere, but when you have a pawn die of violent death, and I'm hoping I'm doing it right, um, you do get a reduction for X number of days to the strength of raids and things. Oh, no rescuing. Maybe I could have shot you all the way to death, but I, I think then that turns out to be bad. Now, we're still going to get a colonist death debuff. I guess I could just turn off doctoring. Actually, Xerath shouldn't have it on anyway. So, yeah, if I do... If I turn off doctoring... I need doctor, but I don't think anyone's going to rescue Darklight. Yeah, Stamp is just ignoring them. Working on planting stuff. Darklight's got an infection. Okay, you have died. Let's check a mood over here. You witnessed an ally's death. Unfortunately, Damp was standing around when it happened. That I didn't realize. And then you have the minus three. Ooh, eight kibble. I guess there was some food desperation. But yeah. But. Left unburied. We are going to... So I'm going to turn on the doctoring high priority again. Doc. Have you work the crematorium. And then we can do a eulogy over here, which should counter the mood loss. 
and everyone's in a fairly good mood anyway. And so I think this is not really going to cost us anything mood-wise. You did get an absorbed corpse, and you've got the colonist died. That was lackluster. That's too bad. You get a minus one. So that, that did botch, unfortunately, annoyingly. But everyone's still in a pretty good mood, and I think this is going to give us a reduced raid size, which is really good. So if they're not a winner, and I'm not going to say they were terrible. They actually had a couple of really nice skills. It's always nice to have another skilled doctor. But we've got two. And day to day, unless we needed a researcher, which we don't, I just don't think there was much to gain by having uh, that person in there. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Do you have two? Oh, EMP grenades. Okay. I thought there was two guns going on. I'm like, that shouldn't happen because it should only be Turner. Well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. A little bit of a bloody end to this one, but I really do think it was for the best. Now, one more heavy SMG in the queue. Clearly, we're going to need... Maybe a total of three more still, especially as our colony keeps growing. Yeah, overall, things going pretty swell. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.